Welcome to Advice No One Asked For, the feature where I find a letter some sad sack sent to an advice columnist and answer it the way it probably should have been answered in the first place. Because advice columnists are always worried about things like feelings and not crushing people's dreams. Lame. Today's letter is really short. Dear Anyone But Buckley, Any suggestions on how to make a guy understand you're never gonna fuck? My friend is an idiot. Signed, wait a minute, this sounds really familiar. Oh shit, this was actually a tweet to me. Yes, after doing 30 of these fucking segments, apparently someone, against their better judgment, thought, I'm going to ask Buckley for advice on an issue I'm dealing with. So, here we go with the first ever advice someone asked for. Since I'm not going to tell you her Twitter handle, let's call her Unimpressed in Utah. So. A guy you spend time with wants to slide inside you, and you don't really want to do that for whatever reason you may have. Maybe he's not your type physically. Maybe you get along really well as friends, but you know you'd fucking hate him as a boyfriend. Maybe you've known him too long and you think of him like a brother. And since you're not actually from Utah, I just made that up, you don't want your brother's penis rooting around inside of you. Whatever the reason, you gotta just pull the plug on the friendship. Because it's fucked now fucked as hard as he'd like to fuck you. The fact that you're asking how to make a guy understand you're never gonna fuck, I assume this isn't the first time it's come up, and you've decided that you want it to be the last. The problem is that by continuing to spend time with him, you're giving him hope. You may not feel like that's the case, and I know the SJW crowd is gonna come barging in here to tumbler up my comments section with, how the fuck dare you suggest she's asking for it? which isn't what I said. You might think this guy is a really cool guy to hang around with when he's not trying to come up with plans to get in your pants. But, by continuing to hang out with him, he's going to have false hope. A belief that, because you haven't completely shut him out of your life, even though he's tried so many times to convert you from pal to plow, on some level, he still has a chance to impress you, to show you why you two should be more than friends, in either a friends with benefits situation, or he actually wants to date you. Men are fucking stupid that way. I know. Believe me, young Buckley knows. In fact, not just men. People. People are stupid. Because of hope. Hope is the thing that drives dumb fucks to buy lottery tickets every week, instead of putting that money aside and earning way more in a lifetime than they ever likely will on the fucking Powerball. Hope is the thing that says, Fuck you, reality. I don't care what you have to say. I have this stupid belief in my head that, despite all odds, I'll come out on top. And you won't. 100% the fault of the person with hope, for sure. But, by continuing to hang out with that person, knowing that they want to fuck you, you're enabling that. And you can guarantee that that's what they're always thinking about. You're talking about your day at work? They're thinking about how they'd like to work you over. You're talking about a new movie that looks good? They're thinking about how fun it would be to get a handy in the back of the theater from you. You're talking about a new dress you saw that you think you're going to buy? They just came all over themselves. Now, that's not to say that the moment a friend tries to put the moves on you once, it's all over. But, at that point, if you're not interested, you have to say, Whoa, listen, I don't think of you that way. I want to be your friend, but if you want more, we probably shouldn't hang out anymore. Understand? And perhaps it'll be a thing you guys laugh about 10 years later, when you're both in separate relationships. <laughs> hey, uh, Celeste, remember that time that I was a thirsty dude trying to get my dick wet and I came on to you? <laughs> what the fuck was I thinking? Oh yeah, Maverick, you were a fucking moron. Shit, I wouldn't fuck you with your dick. And you laugh and laugh. But if after you shut them down once, and they still keep trying, it's clear that they don't respect you as a friend, and they only see you as the most easily accessible semen depository without having to actually go out and find someone. And, if you're not letting go because you think, well, at some point I might be desperate enough to want that, so I should probably keep them around. Or, I'm going to keep them around because even though I don't want that, It makes me feel good and gives me confidence and a power trip to know that I have this guy wrapped around my finger and could probably make him do a whole bunch of shit for me. Then you're a piece of shit. Don't fuck with people like that. 
Those are the types of people that I hope get in a relationship, and then their significant other cheats on them with someone worse. You know, just fucking dog face, ugly, shitty personality. And so they think, wait, he thought that was better than me? I must be fucking awful. And they get a huge complex. And dudes and girls who are only hanging out with a friend because you're hoping for that day they finally break down and say, Ugh, alright, fine, you win. Stop. Just stop. Are you gonna look like an asshole when you stop hanging out with them just because they won't bang you? Yes. Because you are an asshole. A shitty person that only hangs out with someone for that 0.1% chance that maybe, someday, you'll wear them down so they'll have pity sex with you. So just end the friendship. That's the only way they'll understand. When you stop spending time together, and make sure you tell them it's because they wouldn't stop trying to bang you. This friendship is already over anyway. It's on life support. It's never coming out of that coma. So save the hospital bills, pull the plug, and bury that friendship in a shallow, unmarked grave, never to be visited again. I'm Buckley, and you're welcome.